What's up? What's up, guys? I don't even know what that was. What's up, guys? It's your boy Relux. It's coming to you the brand new video. Um, we're playing some Olaf in the mid lane. I uh, just decided that I wanted to main Olaf. Um, he's he's pretty good all around. Um, he's got some slight setbacks, but that's okay. Um, but we went with Conqueror, Triumph, uh, Alacrity, um, Coup de Grace, Approach Velocity, and Biscuit Delivery along with um, attack speed and adaptive force and some magic resist because we're going up against uh, Diana. So hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. What's going on guys? Squirrel Relux is coming to you the brand new video. Playing some um, Olaf in the mid lane. Just chilling gonna get this kill on Nunu even though we freaking die that's okay I don't even really mind um, so basically I started playing Olaf mid um, just to kind of just to play Olaf and I feel like if it was a shorter lane then you can get a lot more kills especially with Olaf and his axes excuse me um, so definitely try this out. I feel like Olaf mid is very uh, slept on and it can be very good against a certain matchups and pretty much all matchups if you know how to play him. Um, once you get him down, then you're able to do a lot of different things, catch a lot of people out of uh, position and um, pretty much just an annihilate them in a 1v1. Uh, I, I went with Conqueror this game, but I feel like um, maybe press the attack would be good as well. Uh, so I'm going to be trying that next in my next video. But uh, yeah, there, there's a double kill for you. <laughs> so uh, hopefully um, you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. Um, so and also... Um, leave a comment down below who your favorite mid laner is or if you've ever tried Olaf mid um, but if not and you play Olaf jungle then that's cool as well you can leave that down in the comments as well um, but let me know who your favorite mid laner is uh, so we can we can discuss that and uh, talk about that and I wouldn't have survived that without Nami. Nami was very crucial in this game, uh, as well as Wukong. Me and Wukong and Nami kind of carried the other two because our jungler was like 0 and 20, something like that. Uh, but he was he was negative. He didn't have a well. He had like three kills, but that's pretty much it. Um, and our uh, Aphelios was decent. He's a streamer. Uh, so I thought he'd be okay, but he kind of dropped the ball, but that's okay. Everybody has their bad games uh, and whatnot. And I don't know why that dragon fight was so lagged, but, you know, it shit happens. Anyway, um, I'm using, like, a like a recording software that uh, sometimes lags things for no reason, but, you know. Um, I probably should have left that fight once we got that one kill. But I decided to go back in for some reason. I don't really know why. But um, there's that. So um, the, really the key to playing Olaf mid and dominating is just hitting axes. Um, if you can hit enough axes and keep it going to the point where like, you, hit a consistent, like, you consistently hit axes, then it really makes it hard for the mid laner or whatever lane you're playing Olaf in for people to trade with you. Um, because you're once you hit like level three on axes, you're literally chunking people, especially if you got a, you have a lead and you have Triforce, um, or you have um, Black Cleaver. You're literally chunking people, and it's crazy because once you start to chunk people out, they can't really fight you, and you pretty much win lane. Uh, so there's that. Uh, after that last fight, actually, um, Wukong went to go and get a pentakill, so that was really good of him. Um, and then we get a, a nice cleanup here, me and Aphelios going in, um, getting some kills here. Aphelios was, uh, was again, was an um, uh, interesting player. Um, he took TP instead of heal, 
So we're, we'll, we'll not even worry about that. But the ultimate from Wukong there to stop the Nunu ult was really good. Um, it was very it was very crucial he did that. Otherwise, I probably we probably both would have been chunked out. But it's, we still probably would have won that, to be honest. But, um, yeah, it's not really that important. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and uh, my little commentary, if you have any questions or uh, tips or anything to play Olaf, or if you have any questions about how to play Olaf mid better or in any lane, let me know down in the comment section down below, and I'll do my best to uh, help. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.